everyone welcome to my channel so today's video ugh, <laughs> i'm kind of scared honestly <laughs> because i'm going to be finally reading for the first time the grisha trilogy or shadow and bone because the tv show is coming out later this month so i wanted to read the books so i didn't know what was happening so my friend let me borrow the books actually let me just grab them um, yeah, my friend let me borrow the books because I didn't want to buy them because I didn't know if I was going to either like this series or hate it because I've heard very mixed things. People either love it or hate it and I don't know how I'm going to feel about it because I read Six of Crows and I loved that series so much. Like, that series holds such a special place in my heart. Like, it was like the first series I ever fell in love with. And yeah, I loved the Six of Crows books, but these, I'm scared of. <laughs> like, these books scare me, <laughs> not just because I don't know if I'm going to like them, but because I know that people have very strong thoughts about this series. Like, people that love this series, they love this series. So yeah, I'm kind of scared to read this, <laughs> but... I have the books, my friends let me borrow them. I want to read them before the show comes out on April 23rd, I think. April 23rd. It's like the end of April. So the first book in the series is Shadow and Bone. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> How many pages is it? Um, uh, It doesn't have page numbers. Oh yes, it does. Okay. How many pages is it? Okay, this is 400 pages. I can do this. Yeah. I can yeah I can probably read this in like the, in like a couple days but yeah this is the first book in the series I'm very scared <laughs> I probably shouldn't be going into this series with like preconceived notions but I loved Six of Crows and that series happens after this one so I don't know what to expect but I ha I have seen the trailer for the show and it looks so so good like Netflix was not messing around with the budget for this show so yeah the show looks really good so that's why I want to read them but yeah, I'm very scared, but yeah, I'll update where something happens, but yeah, I don't know what else to say other than I'm scared. This is a horrible angle, but I just wanted to update. I'm still on the first chapter. I'm literally on page 25. Like, I'm not even done with chapter one, but I just wanted to, this one part between Nala and Lena was really cute. Um, They're talking about, like, wanting to just, like, look out into the ocean and, like, drink or whatever and then alina asked is duprov buying who's some like some other guy that i don't really know who he is yet but and then <laughs> then mal says just you and me and then alina asks really and then he says it's always just you and me alina and that was kind of cute <laughs> i want to know more about like the fold and all of that and i just think that mal and alina have like a really cute dynamic i don't know if people are gonna hate me for saying that but Mal and Alina are kind of cute. Like, even as, as, like, just, like, childhood friends, they're cute. They have, like, a cute, like, cute banter, cute dynamic. So, I really like that. I'm, <laughs> I'm enjoying that so far. But, um, yeah. I'm gonna keep reading. Update when, like, something interesting happens. But, yeah, I'm starting, I'm not as scared to read this series anymore. If that makes sense. Like, my fear about this series is like slowly starting to go away. So we just found out that Alina is Grisha. She's a sun summoner. And as I was reading this, I was literally like so shocked. As if I literally didn't see this in the trailer. <laughs> like I was sitting here like, <gasps> but I literally saw this in the trailer and knew that this is going to happen. So yeah. Okay, I need to put my phone up for a minute. Okay, so. <laughs> we now know that Alina is Grisha, which is, yeah. I still don't know why. I was so shocked when this happened, when I literally saw it in the trailer, and I was like, oh my god, wow, she can do that? Like, I don't know why I was so surprised. But, um, yeah, this is really good so far. <laughs> I'm only, wait, I'm only like 50 something pages in it, but this is like really interesting so far. Like, I just want to keep reading to see what happens. Like, I'm so 
intrigued so far and I don't know, I'm really enjoying it. Usually when I'm reading a book and I'm in like the first like 50-ish pages, I'll know if I'm gonna like it or not. And like right now, I'm actually liking it. So yeah, this is this is pretty good. The Darkling, yeah. <laughs> I don't know about the whole Darklina thing that I've seen, but I am only like a few chapters in, so we'll see what happens. But um, yeah, so far, having a pretty good time okay so i'm now on page 232 so i'm like a little over a little over halfway done and um a lot happened in this last chapter like <laughs> this was a pretty long chapter compared to the other ones but so much happened that i okay so Darkling and Alina when they went into like that empty room or whatever I was like wait <laughs> oh my god so that that happened and then all of a sudden like Mal's like with a um there's a bunch of soldiers coming and then Mal shows up so they have like a little reunion and then Mal is like all like angry and like upset at Alina for some reason I don't know why they just had like a little argument after seeing each other for the first time in, like months probably so okay <laughs> so yeah they had that little argument which mm, I did not like that scene at all I at the beginning I liked Mal but after this happened I was like really like why are you upset with her I don't know if it was just like some miscommunication or him just being like petty or something, but yeah, that scene made me not like Mal. Yeah, that's my little update. I think a little over 50% through. I don't think I'm going to finish it today because there's still a lot to go, but I'm most likely going to finish it. Not tomorrow, maybe on Sunday. I'll probably finish this on Sunday. Today's Friday, but yeah. I'm making decent progress in this one. <laughs> I just finished Shadow and Bone and um I have no words. Like I literally don't know what to say right now. <laughs> so much happened there's a lot going on in the like last few chapters it was crazy like i was like flying through it because i just wanted to see what happened and yeah wow <laughs> this is making me just even more excited for the tv show now that i like kind of know what's happening so I'm very excited for the TV show. I wasn't expecting to finish this so fast. It is like a pretty short book, but I flew through this. I literally started reading it yesterday. So I read this book in a day. So yeah, <laughs> I, I really enjoyed it. I had, I had a great time reading it. I flew through it as you can see, but um, yeah, the characters, I don't have like strong attachments to any of the characters necessarily. Mal kind of annoys me a little bit. Darkling is also kind of annoying. Alina also a little bit annoying too. So yeah, I don't have like strong attachments to any of the characters yet. Like the same, like the way that I got so attached to them in um, Six of Crows. Like when I read Six of Crows, I immediately just like loved all the characters. I wanted, I wanted to protect them with my entire being. But with this one, not yet. It also is just the first book in the trilogy. So it might take a little while for me to like get attached to the characters, but yeah. I feel like it did a good job of like establishing the world and what's going to happen with like the shadow fold and all that. So I'm very excited to see where the next books go in regards to that. That's gonna be very interesting. But um yeah. Darkling, I need to get I can't the Darkling. I do not like the Darkling. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Like, it's literally no thoughts, head empty right now. So, yeah. I'm going to be picking up the next book 
in the next few days probably on like sunday or monday maybe we'll see so it's been a few days since i finished shadow and bone it is currently tuesday my hair is a mess it's currently tuesday and i finished reading shadow and bone on friday so i took a bit of a break i don't know why i just wasn't i wanted to read like i was excited to read the book but i wasn't excited what i wasn't like in the mood to read if that makes sense i'm i'm not in like a reading slump i just honestly didn't feel like reading so but i got a like reading chair which is where i'm sitting right now i have like a whole little reading nook now so now i'm kind of excited to read <laughs> so yeah i'm going to be reading um siege and storm this is book two right yeah this is book two and um yeah i'm very excited i'm i don't know what to expect <laughs> Because the last one, the first book, I really enjoyed it, and I'm scared <laughs> for the rest of the books. Like, the first one was a really strong start, but I'm scared to see what happens with the rest of the series. But the TV show comes out in a few weeks, and I'm so excited for that. So I'm going to start Siege and Storm now, and I will update with my thoughts when something happens. Um yeah <laughs> okay so i apologize for the terrible lighting and also the slight lisp i'm wearing my retainers because i'm reading a little bit before bed so that's why the light is like this i've been using my reading light to read and i am um how many pages wait well i think it was 107 Yeah, so I'm a little over 100 pages into Siege and Storm, and this is getting really crazy. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't know what the plot of this, of this whole series was, so I didn't really like know what to expect or anything. So I'm basically, I was, I was going into this blind, like I didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't know the plot or anything. I just knew like. A little bit from seeing the trailer but the trailer for the show but that's pretty much all I knew so there's a lot happening <laughs> and it's getting crazy so apparently there are three amplifiers and Alina now has two of them and they need to go on the hunt for one more which that's gonna be crazy <laughs> and when she was talking about this with Mal Mal was being a little bit petty and like a little jealous of the Darkling, which was kind of annoying. I was like, <laughs> like, I don't know why he's jealous of the Darkling. Like when, wait, wait, wait let me see. I'm trying to find the exact right here. Did you make any other plans with the Darkling while you hold up together below decks? <laughs> And then she was like, we weren't holed up together, he was just trying to get under your skin. He was like, well, it worked. And, yeah. Mal, I don't know how I feel about Mal. I have, I, there's some scenes where I like him, some where he's kind of annoying. Alina is still, I still have like the same thoughts as the first book. She's just, she's a good character, she's a strong character, but she's also like, very, the whole insecurity thing. It's not as prevalent in this book so far. Like from what I remember in the first book, it was like <laughs> almost every other page. Or she'd be like, oh, I'm so ugly or I'm not light. I wish I was light. I looked like blah, 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 blah. But so far she's only mentioned that like once maybe, maybe like once or twice in what I've read so far. So I think that's good that Alina's getting a little bit more confident. So... Yeah, it's not a big deal or anything that Alina do is is doesn't have any confidence. Like, it's good to read about female characters that aren't, like, super strong and badass and confident. Like, I'm not saying it's bad because of that. I'm just saying it's, ba it's bad because it's just a little bit annoying to read. So, yeah, I hope that that makes sense. I need to keep reading and this lisp is getting getting a little intense <laughs> but um yeah so I might read another like 50 something pages before going to sleep so it's 
10 days after I filmed the last clip and also 10 days since I've read Sage and Storm. Um, <laughs> yeah, this one's been a bit rough. It was a little boring, so I just like stopped reading for a week and a half. And I wasn't itching to get back to it. Like, normally when I'm reading a series or, like, binging a series and I'm really enjoying it, I'll be, like, really excited to, like, read the book and keep going. But that didn't happen with this one, sadly. Like, the first, like, 100, 150-ish pages, I think, are very interesting, very exciting. But then, like, the middle, like, the middle, like, 150 pages are so boring <laughs> or like middle like 200 pages like the entire like middle portion is was so boring but um the last bit the last like two chapters were very exciting so yeah i feel like the middle 200 ish pages could have been condensed because it was just very long very boring nothing much is happening it does a lot of like a lot of like technical things going on like planning and stuff but I just thought that it was really boring so yeah I yeah I was in a bit of a not a slump but like not enjoying this one but then I picked it up today and yesterday to finish it up because I was almost done I was like 60% through and um I just wanted to finish it so I did finish reading Siege and Storm today a week and a half later <laughs> and um this one, I I gave it three stars on Goodreads because it, for me, this one, this one was a three star because it was interesting, the stuff that happened and all that, but I just thought that it dragged on for way too long and it was just kind of boring at times. The highlight of this book for me was being introduced to Nikolai. He's such a fun character. I really enjoyed him. He, he was a really good character, so... Nikolai was fun. Mal was extra annoying in this one. He really pissed me off in this one. <laughs> like, he was so irritating and just so frustrating and so selfish in this one. Like, I, I could not. So, yeah, I really hated Mal in this one. But, yeah, three stars for Siege and Storm not the best the first book was so good like i really really enjoyed the first book i had a blast reading i literally read it in like a day and a half i think and this one i read in 10 days which is not good so yeah if i wasn't forcing myself not forcing myself but like if it wasn't really like motivated to want to read this series because of the tv show coming out then i probably would have dnf to siege and storm and just not finished the rest of the series but since i am reading this because i want to watch the show and understand what's happening i'm like pushing through and kind of like forcing myself to finish the series this is the last book so hopefully this one's more exciting than the second one as of right now the first book is my favorite it was just so good so exciting so interesting so yeah i really enjoyed book one book two kind of a flop for me but we'll see what happens with book three so <laughs> i started reading rune and rising um i am 163 pages in so like six or so chapters i think and this one's good it's good but also there are some parts that are a bit boring like at the beginning it was really interesting when they were like in the cave and then all of a sudden they're like now they have to like, try to escape like that got really interesting but then it got really boring when they were like just walking through the cave for like who knows how long like it got boring but then it got interesting again and then it gets boring like that that's like a theme that i've noticed with this book is that it gets really interesting and then there's very boring parts as of right now it's it's fine they made it they reunited with Nikolai 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 <laughs> they reunited with Nikolai and I was like <laughs> yes like I love Nikolai he's probably my favorite character I love him he's just so funny I love him so he's back in the story and I'm 
so happy about that because I really missed him and um yeah things were starting to like slowly pick up um and I, I think I like this one more than book two like as of right now if I had to rank them it would be book one book three and then book two at the bottom because that one was so boring <laughs> but yeah it's getting really interesting things are starting to happen not much is happening but like things are slowly starting to fall into place so yeah okay so now i'm like 47 percent through um this one i'm on chapter nine and there's just a scene just now with the girls with alina it's alina nadia genya and tamar and yeah i think it's just I think it's just the four of them where they're all like looking through these robes and like these keftas and stuff and it was just such a cute scene like they're all just like hanging out together and just having fun and that scene made me so happy like it was so it was just so cute and wholesome and i loved seeing all the girls bonding together oh was zoya there too wait <laughs> was zoya there too yeah zoya was also there okay so it was all five of them there's a lot of characters but yeah all the girls were just there hanging out having a good time and that scene was just so cute i really loved it i loved seeing all of them, all of them just like bonding and hanging out together with like no beef or anything and i don't know i just i just thought that, that scene was so cute it's probably my favorite scene so far in this book i just i loved it so much like it was so cute and tamar and nadia so cute <laughs> so cute so yeah i really enjoyed that scene i thought it was just so cute so wholesome and yeah <laughs> this book is not as boring as book two i'm having a fun time i'm flying through it surprisingly so Okay. <laughs> a lot has happened since I last updated. So, <laughs> I a lot. There's a lot that a lot has happened. I I I can't process anything right now. Um. Okay. So the last thing that ha that I remember happening since I last updated was Nikolai. <laughs> I don't understand what the Dark Lane did to him. When I, <laughs> I've been listening to the audiobooks. When I was listening to it happy, I was literally just sitting here like, <laughs> like, <laughs> and then when he was like following them, and Alina saw him like up in the trees, I was like, oh my god, Nicholas. <laughs> And just now they found the firebird, but it tur turns out that Mal was the third amplifier. <laughs> what? I still don't understand how Mal is the third amplifier. I need to keep reading, but like. <laughs> I can't believe any of this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this book is so much better than the second one. I think this might be my favorite one out of three. I, I can't, I don't know yet, but wow. This, this is crazy. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> I literally don't, I don't know what to say. I have how much time I have left. I have three hours left in the audiobook. I'm probably gonna finish it today because I just wanna keep going, but I'm probably gonna pick up the physical book in a bit, but I'm like doing some like journaling and stuff, but <laughs> Wow. I I can't <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I look like a mess, but I just finished Rune and Rising and I 
have no words. Like, I literally, I don't know what to do with myself right now. I just... <sighs> I... I literally don't know what to say right now. This was probably the best book in the series, I think. This one was... This one, <sighs> this one was so good. Okay. First of all... <laughs> The back and forth with Mel dying or not dying and coming back to life, it was a lot. I, <laughs> when Alina first stabbed him, I was literally crying. Like, I shed tears. I was borderline sobbing when he died. But then he, like, came back to life. Like, he said, he said something. He was like, we need more light or something. But then he died again. <laughs> but then he came back to life. So... That was a lot. I don't know why I shed tears over Mal dying when I really did not like Mal for like the majority of the series, but I did. So I was not expecting that. The Darkling died too. <laughs> the Darkling actually died, which I also was not expecting. Well, actually I was because I'm, I was listening to the audiobook and I was looking through the comments because I just wanted to like scroll through the comments and there were spoilers. And someone said that the Darkling died. So I was like, oh wow, the Darkling dies. But then when he finally died, I was like, that was kind of anticlimactic. <laughs> like, this buildup in this entire series was to defeat the Darkling. And his death lasted, like, half a page. I was like, okay. So, I thought his death could have been a little bit better. A little bit more interesting. Like, that was very anticlimactic, honestly. Kind of disappointed in that, but at least he died. Okay, so. <laughs> yeah. Um else a lot happened yeah alina lost her powers but then like all yeah her power would basically like lace back into the world which i was not expecting when that happened i was like wait what <laughs> and um what i really loved was the after section like after the final chapter where there's like that whole like after little bit as in like their person point of view I really love that part, especially when they just say like they don't refer to them like by their names, but it's it's Genya and um and Alina, and when Genya handed her the blue kefta with a note that said you'll always be one of us, I was like wait, <laughs> I thought that was so cute and um yeah, I just. I was not expecting to like this series so much like this was a really good series like I really enjoyed it except for the second book the second book was so boring but like overall as an entire series it was really good it was so interesting and I'm, I'm happy that I finally read this series after like years of being scared of it because I enjoyed it I didn't hate it I thought it was a good series and now I'm so excited for the show to come out on Friday like I can't wait like it's just like four days away and I can't wait I'm so excited for the show and yeah I'm just so happy that I finally read this series now I know what's gonna be happening in the show now I have some more background on the whole like Grisha verse and I'm just I'm so happy I finally read this one I'm definitely gonna be reading King of Scars next because I love Nikolai so much <laughs> like Nikolai it's just such a good character. I don't know how anyone can hate Nikolai. Like, he's just... He's so funny. He's so smart. And I don't know. He's so charming. I just really... I just really enjoy his character. So, I'm definitely going to be reading King of Scars. And when they mentioned that his... Like, they mentioned King of Scars in this book. Like, that's how his... They mentioned, like, how his name was, like, created, I guess. And... <laughs> I just... Yeah. Okay, I put my hair down because I look like a mess. But, um... So if I had to rank the books, <laughs> it would be Ruin Rising as number one, and then Shadow and Bone, number two, and then Sage and Storm at the bottom because that one was so boring. <laughs> like, it took me a week and a half to read Sage and Storm, so I, yeah, I, don't, I barely remember what happened in this book, so I did not like, did not like Sage and Storm, but Ruin Rising, this was so good. Oh my god, and this one so good like this was a this was a well-rounded series like it was a good beginning good ending like I don't I literally don't know what else I can say like I just 
I really enjoyed this series and um yeah I finally read the Shadow and Bone books and I'm so happy <laughs> like yeah I don't know I'm just I'm so happy that I finally read this series I hope this reading vlog was somewhat entertaining I don't know <laughs> so yeah that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye